Hello everyone, it's Bernadette here, Simply Be Art Cape Town with another video. Thank you for joining me again today. I'm going to be continuing with the Fiona Art Flower series. This is a 25 by 25 centimeter canvas and I'm going to be working with yellow colors today. So let's get started with today's pour. I'm going to be starting by putting down my layer of white base paint. I've mixed the white base paint 50% paint to 50% pouring medium and I've added one teaspoon or five milliliters of water to get the right consistency for the base paint. I'm using Dala's white craft paint for my base coat. I will towards the end of the video show you a printout of how to mix so that you can write it down or take a snapshot of it and then you can mix up your own paints if you're wanting to do this awesome flower. So my base paint is mixed a little bit thicker than I'm going to use for my pouring colors. And I will be giving you all the ratios for all the colors. If you are new to my channel and you're checking in with me for the first time, thank you so much for joining me today. Please consider subscribing, hit the red subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of this video and then click on the notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a new video. And if you're back watching this channel again, if you've clicked on me today and you already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate your support of my channel. Okay, the base coat is nicely laid down. I'm going to be layering the colors now. But before I layer, let me torch it first. So there's bubbles in your paint because you've mixed it and I'm just popping those bubbles now. I see these two stubborn bubbles that don't want to pop so I'm just using a, a push pin to pop it. Okay, that's it. Let's layer the yellow colors. So I'm going to start with a Naples yellow. Just give it a shake. Starting with a Naples yellow. And every color I'm going to in, intermix or interlace with the acrylic white from Dala. So the Naples yellow was also a Dala color. Then I'm going to use the permanent yellow from Dala as well. Permanent yellow. And then I'm using a cad yellow from Dela Rowney. Oops. Almost made a mistake. Remember, white and then a color. Then white and then a color. Don't do what I did. You've got to separate them with your white. Let me put the white beside. Now the cad yellow. And then I'm going to add a bronze. So that's the white. This is also a Dala bronze. It's a metallic color. 
Oh, these colors are looking nice. Right, so that's the first round. Let me do a round of white and then we're going to start the colors again. So these paints don't have any silicone in them. They just mixed with the pouring medium blue and water and color. I will give you the ratios a little bit later in the video. So keep watching to find out what those ratios are. This is the layer of white again. And then the permanent yellow. And white again. And then the cad yellow. And then the white. And then the bronze. And then the white again. Right, all colors laid down. I think there's 16 rings in total. Now once you've got your colors laid down, you can lift off your center. There's just a bubble that always forms in the middle. Now I'm going to fill out my petal shapes or create my petal shapes. I'm simply pulling from the middle out, from the middle out, and then I'm going to do the quarters. Now, now I'm pulling from the outside in. Okay, that's done. Next step is to do the torching again because there is bubbles in those bottles and you've laid down the colors and that has also given some bubbles on your canvas again. Right, doesn't it look pretty already? Oh goodness, I'm loving it already. Okay. Now for the big step, just getting everything out of the way, time to lay down our paper napkin or serviette as we call it, this is a 33 by 33 centimeter paper napkin, it is a three ply, there's three layers to it. So all you do is you're going to wet it with a spray bottle on all sides just a light spray of water it's not soaked the paper napkin is not wet it's just a light sprinkling just to give it some weight all right i'm going to lay it down on the center line like that and then i'm taking the loose edge and i'm pulling it over and laying it gently down right now we tap it into the paint so that it grips the paint on the canvas light tapping light tapping just making sure that there's enough grip to the dampened paper napkin Okay, now 
Now for the big reveal. This is the most exciting part of doing this flower. Corner to corner first, hold it down. The side next, hold it firmly, tightly. In this corner. Now when you have all your four, four corners gripped, I let, I let go of mine. Here we go. Now you do the sides. side bringing it to the corner now we start to gather it nicely and pull it up pull it up lift it lift it lift it gentle 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 lift there's always a lot of paint that gathers right in the center and I'm dipping my finger in it it's still going to spread out a little bit more but I'm dipping my finger because I wanted to I want to lift up some of it just going to level my canvas here because I see the paint is moving that way oh this is so pretty Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. <laughs> I'm loving it. I am loving it. <laughs> Let's torch it. I see some bubbles. But the torching will also bring up some lacing. And some cells. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. I'm going to bring it down in a minute. Let me just get some of this paint out of the center because it's quite a lot and you don't want it to pull too much because you stand the risk of your paints cracking right in that middle part because it's too thick. But just lifting some of it off and I'm wiping it on the on the puppy pad next to me. Just removing some of the excess that pulls right here in the center when you've lifted your napkin. So make sure that you lift some of that off. And your finger does just such a beautiful job. Just lifts off a tiny bit. Oh wow, I am loving this. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Okay. It's still developing. It takes some time. While that is developing, I'm going to smooth out the white edges. Just smoothing it. Oh, I love it. Torch it one more time. And then I'm going to bring you down for a closer look. It's still developing. The cad yellow started to show up much more now. I think that bronze has just added another dimension to this flower. Now, isn't that just something so beautiful? Oh my goodness. 
Look at the detail in this flower. Super, super amazing. And you can also do this. Get out your paper napkins. Mix up your paints. And try this technique. It is so exciting to do. I'm going to share the mixing ratios with you now. So for my base coat, for the, for the flower dip technique, my base coat paint, I mix 50 grams of craft paint with 50 grams of my pouring medium. My pouring medium is glue and water. And I add 5 mils of plain tap water. And that will give me the consistency for my flower dip base paint. Now for my colours which are in these bottles. The, the colours that I use to pour the circles. My ratio is 40 grams of acrylic paint to 80 grams of pouring medium. And I add 20 grams of water. Now this is all grams so I do weigh everything. 40 grams of acrylic paint mixed with 80 grams of my pouring medium. And my pouring medium is glue and water. And to that I add 20 grams of plain tap water. These are the ratios that I use for my flower dips. And I am getting relative success with the flowers that I do. So I hope that this is going to help you if you are going to try the flower dip technique. It is very exciting and every result is different. So good luck with your flower dip technique. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And just another reminder to please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. There are also cards being shown to you at the end of this video of some of my other creations. Click on those cards and you'll be taken immediately to those videos and you can keep watching. So thank you so, so much for joining me today. I really appreciate your time. Take care everyone. Stay well. Until the next video. Bye for now.